Yo guys, what's up? This is Ryan from Tower Reviews, and today we're going to be unboxing the 2013 Nexus 7 Google Second Generation 7-inch tablet. So, uh, here we have the box. It's uh, definitely different from last year. We've got a lot more color. It's blue rather than just plain old gray. Still got the 7 in the corner of the display. So, let's go ahead and take a look around the back of the box. We've got the 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi model here, as you can see right there. Uh, it's pretty minimalistic packaging, not really much product detail. Got the ASUS logo on each side and just some boring stuff on the bottom and on the top. So let's go ahead and get out the scissors and take a look at the tablet itself and whatever else comes in the box. Alright, so that was just a uh, shell around the actual box, which is very, even more plain and it's just a plain white box with the Google logo really light and gray down in the bottom right hand corner. Okay, got that. Alright, and there it is. Looking very nice. Little pull tab to get the tablet out, so let's set that aside for a second and take a look at the rest of the contents of the box. So it looks like we've got the wall adapter here for charging. We've got some guides, warranty and safety information. We've got, looks like some basic instructions on how to turn the tablet on and where the NFC antennas are and some other ports. We've got the cord for data and power transfer. And pretty sure that's it. So very minimalistic packaging, but nice and clean and gets the job done very well. So let's go ahead and put all that other stuff aside and take a look at the tablet here. So let's go ahead and run through some specs of this device. So for the display, we've got a 7.02 inch 1920 by 1200 display. That is 323 pixels per inch. So that makes this the highest resolution 7 inch tablet to date. We've got a 1080p HD IPS, uh, so it is a 1080p HD display. We've got scratch resistant corning glass. As for the camera, we've got a 1.2 megapixel camera located kind of awkwardly on the front off to the right, which uh, I think is attributed to the fact that they want this tablet used more in the landscape mode, which uh, considering that the original Nexus 7 didn't even have the option to rotate into landscape, uh, it's kind of weird. They've uh, obviously changed their idea of what the 7 inch tablet should be for. Um, we've got the 5 megapixel rear facing camera as you can see right there. Maybe it would help if I get this plastic off. So there we go. Um, there's the 5 megapixel rear facing. Here let me bring it up closer. And you've got autofocus on that. The front facing is a fixed focused lens. Alright. Set that down. The OS on the device is Android 4.3, the newest version of Android. We've got dual band Wi-Fi in this thing, so hopefully better uh, speeds. We've got Bluetooth 4.0, NFC. It weighs 0.64 pounds. And we've got stereo speakers now, so that's an improvement over the previous generation's mono speakers down at the bottom. We've got 16 gigabytes of internal storage on this version and 2 gigabytes of RAM. So that about sums up the specifications and let's go ahead and take a look around and just compare it to the old generation. So if we look at the front we can see that it has been simplified a lot. We don't have the silver bezel around. The camera has moved to the right side. The back is a lot smoother plastic and if we take a look at the thickness you can see that it's considerably thinner. You can see that it weighs uh, marginally different, maybe a little bit lighter. Um, so overall uh, I think that the new Nexus 7 looks a lot cleaner uh, still got the ASUS branding down at the bottom, speakers, speaker grills down there, micro USB, uh, the power button still on the right hand side, as well as the volume rockers. And let's go ahead and see if we've got a charge on this thing. Looks like we do.
All right, and we're in, so it looks like we've got to do the setup here. I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, so now everything is set up and ready to go. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So we've got pretty much the same old lock screen, um, and here's the home page. And just first impressions, this is so much more fluid than the uh, first Nexus 7. We'll see how that uh, holds up over time, but for now, uh, it's very zippy, very smooth, and the display just looks amazing. Uh, can't distinguish any pixels. The colors overall just look a lot better. Uh, apps open so quickly, you can switch through them real fast. Uh, and looks like everything is staying smooth throughout the operating system, which is uh, definitely nice to see. Looks like you got the new Google Hangouts app on your dock down here. So that's pretty cool um, overall. Uh, looks like some pretty solid first impressions. We'll be back with a full review in a few days or a couple weeks after using this uh, pretty thoroughly. And make sure to stay tuned and subscribe for that review. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.